Day. It is December 14th, so it is Vlogmas Day 14, and I am reporting, as usual, to open my Chelsea Lux Advent skein. Today's color is Bon Voyage. No idea what color this could be. Probably something lilac purple, since that's what we had yesterday. Ooh, but then tomorrow is poinsettia. So that's probably gonna be deeper red. Well, I'm not sure. Let's just let's just open it. Oh. Okay, we have some lilac and then some neon pink. And we have some green. So this is Bon Voyage. Where are we going? Bon Voyage. Let's go. I don't know. Where would we be going with this? I also painted my nails. <laughs> it's been a sad 14 days with no nail polish. Well, I had polish, but it started chipping. So this is pretty. I haven't looked at them all laid out. Maybe I'll do that a little bit later. Uh, or tomorrow when the light is <laughs> better and it's not later in the day when the sun is almost setting. Um, game plan for today, I guess tonight, is to work on my yarn cabinet. So you would have seen me do this in one of the other vlogmases. So this cube right here has all my knit collage yarn. But I'm thinking I could organize it in a different way. And then I have a tub on the floor, which you see this gray basket, but underneath it is a plastic container. I will show you. There you go. And that has all my non-superwash wool in it. So there's a lot of woolly mammoth in here. Why don't we just go through it? Uh, we have a lot of pachinko fibers, which is hand dyed in Peru. Uh, sorry, I, I blanked. I needed to think of where it was <laughs> hand dyed. Uh, and I have become friends with the owner of pachinko, Dana. I've met her in person, I think once, maybe twice in New York City. She quite literally came from Peru to the U.S. with a suitcase full of yarn and a few ladies and I, maybe there were, there were like 10 or 15 of us, at a bar in New York City. She just opened up her suitcase and we went shopping and I got a lot of uh, the yarn that's in here, kind of worsted weight. And I started a shawl. I honestly think I started this maybe last Thanksgiving and I didn't get around to finishing it, but this is a lot of crimsons and oh, it's just the softest yarn. Softest yarn ever. This is the natural. This is gray. It's like a green gray, but compared to my sweater, it's pure gray. So her yarn is just amazing. And then this, I had started this bag. I had started at a Ninil Chick, Ninil, I think that's how you say it, Swancho, um, two years ago, maybe. My gauge was way off and I didn't like the fit of it, so I frogged it, scrapped it, and now I have all these cute little balls of yarn that I need to find something to do with. But that is some of the non-superwash. And then like I said, Wooly Mammoth Co. I did a huge order, I think in April of last year, um, the Pandemic Blues, and I wanted to try non-superwash. So this is Wooly Mammoth, this whole layer is. Ooh, this is fun. So this is Irish Craft Yarn um, by S Twist Wool. Can't find them online. I bought this three and a half years ago, April 2018, when I went to Ireland. <laughs> There's a lot more yarn in the bottom of here. That's from Ireland. This is a skein of uh, Musk Ox from Maine. Actually, one of my friends um, gave that to me out of, you know, pure kindness of her heart. I have some alpaca that my sister has picked up for me on her adventures. Studio Donegal from Ireland. Um, oh, this is a hand-spun ball of <sighs> some sort of bunny. I literally bought this in a shack next to a lighthouse in Ireland. Don't remember what lighthouse. 
there was just a little shack and like where you went to buy your tickets. Um, I guess one of the locals was selling their hand spun yarn and with their bunnies and I bought it. I think it was 10, 10 euros or whatever currency Ireland uses. <laughs> Um, and then I have, like I said, wool from Ireland. This is Aaron wool from the Kerry Woolen Mills. Such a fun place to go. I did take a big picture in front of a huge wall of wool, which I'll try to insert. Um, I, I bought green yarn. I swear my suitcase coming home from Ireland was all yarn. Uh, we had gone to the Hedgehog Fibers studio because, um, we were in, I believe there are studios in Cork. We were in Cork and that was the year I just started to really get into lighter weight wools like fingering wool and basically non-line brand thick and quick because I was knitting a lot of that to sell at craft shows. But we went to Hedgehog, Fider, Fi Hedgehog Fibers and I, oh, I, did I buy fibers? Um, so let's try and find some of the Hedgehog that I have. Um, some blues here. I bought sweater quantities worth. This side of the thing is locked, so I can't get in there right now. These two purples are hedgehog. None of the greens are hedgehogs that I have. Hmm. These two skeins I got in Ireland, but they're not hedgehog. There's, um... I think it's Townhouse Yarns. There's a yarn store in, oh gosh, is it Dublin? No. Somewhere. <laughs> Called This Is Knit. It's in like the sweetest little shop open area mall. And if you ever go to Ireland, you need to go there. Uh, I will figure out the name of it. These grays are hedgehog. Again, sweaters quantity. Um, do, 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 do. This is more pachinko yarn. Uh, so this is pachinko fibers. All natural Peruvian yarn. Botanically dyed in Cusco, Peru. So if you're a fan of We Are Knitters, Wool in the Gang, I believe they, they have similar quality yarn. <laughs> I'm not going to say they have the same manufacturers, but um, they might. Oh, these two skeins are hedgehog, these two blues. So, uh, yeah, I got a lot of uh, hedgehog when I was there. I figured, hey, I'm here. Let me, uh, let me splurge and remember my trip by. So, the whole reason why I'm, I'm filming this clip is to share that I am hoping to move that stuff into this cube and then keep my knit collage in a separate bin because I do have some more projects with knit collage. Um, we're still kind of organizing. My closet is still out of commission. Those are my shelves, so we just tuck thing, things under the chairs. This is a knit collage cardigan that I'm working on. I haven't touched since last year. Oops. And these are like knit collage baby skeins, like scraps and stuff. So probably we'll put all my knit collage in here, put it in a cute little pink container so it's visible, and organize it that way. But yeah, I'll try to do a uh, time lapse so you can see me moving and organizing. I had a lot of fun when I organized this uh, last week for you on Vlogmas. All right, we'll check in later, right, Ginge? Right. <laughs>than I expected it to be, which I guess is a plus side. Um, so I'll show you what I did. I put all or most of my knit collage stuff in this bin as well as those two project bags of pachinko yarn that I showed you earlier. And then in the cabinet, 
This is the cube for all of my non-superwash yarns. Uh, these three skeins are November Woods Fiber Co, which I'm using for my test knit right now. So eventually those will be wound up, caked up, and knit, but they're just in that side for now. But yeah, I have a little sachet of lavender in here. You can barely see it. It's not a lot, but every little bit helps. And then I do have some cedar that I'll stick right here to ward off any little buggers. But this is from Ireland, this row. This is Studio Donegal. These four skeins, the two purples and the two light blues, my sister actually got for me on two different occasions. She also bought me this. This is a very soft alpaca. This is from Ireland. These are from Ireland. That's that mohair that I shared with you. And then all of these, the, kind of this section, <laughs> my arm is blocking it, is Woolly Mammoth Co. And then up here is Non Superwash, that's Pachinku but those get their own shelf since I have so much, <laughs> so many different shades of green.